How many people does it take to carry your burrito? <laughs> well, it looks like mine is three. <laughs> video and I want to say an extra special hello to all the r and beers watching the challenge today. So huge thanks to the gentlemen at r and Reptiles for bringing us today's video, today's challenge. So r and Reptiles is a YouTube channel run by a couple of guys down in the States. They're passionate about animals, specifically reptiles, but not only are they huge advocates for the safe and humane ownership of reptiles, but they're sharing general reptile positivity of these freaking beautiful creatures. So of course definitely consider supporting the reptile community in some positive ways, such as becoming a member of the US ARK. The United States Association of Reptile Keepers. In addition, you can support the reptile community and support reptiles themselves by spreading that reptile positivity yourself, such as watching RMB videos, watching videos educating you about reptiles and that they're not mean, evil creatures. So be sure to check out RMB Reptiles. Their info is down in the description below. And to that, let's get back to the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hanser, and here we are at Taco Embassy, my favorite Mexican restaurant in the universe. And here we are guys with an absolutely massive food challenge. So here we have the Anaconda Burrito Challenge or Serpente, Serpent. Guys, this is absolutely massive. If you cannot comprehend this, this burrito is as long as I am tall, if that makes sense. This thing is like six feet tall, six feet long, however you want to put it. So it's absolutely a giant burrito, as Q, as per respect to the Mexican flag. We got the green, the white, the red. So we got the lovely colors. In here we have a large variety of meats. We have tico de pollo. We have El Pastor, which was cut on the spit, which is freaking awesome. I have some carne asada. We have some carnitas, which is pork. So a large variety of different meats, large variety of toppings. We've got uh, refried beans, we got rice, we have pico de gallo, we have lettuce, we have guacamole, we have cheese. There is so much in here. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to dig into this. It looks so good, but again, it is absolutely massive. So very soothing as per our sponsor today. I will say that normally snakes are not food. Snakes are friends, but this one sure looks delicious. So let's dive in, let's eat this anaconda. Let's try to get this done. Only 60 minutes to do so. This is absolutely insane. So wish me luck, fingers crossed. Bring up the happy, healthy, hungry shirts. Links in the description, guys. I love you. Let's be happy, healthy, hungry together. And at that, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, well, at that, we might as well get started. The burrito barely fits in the frame here, but I have some drinks. Like, this thing was seriously eight of the massive, massive, massive tortillas. So, absolutely huge. With green salsa, red salsa. That's about it. I think there's only one way to do it. Let's get started. So, restaurant's ready. Good. I'm ready, so uh, let's set a timer. I guess I'll just have to start one end, work my way down. All right, so let's get started. Let's hit the count of five. Um, stretch out, ooh. All right, I'll start when my timer goes, uh, let's see, pull out some of these old Mexican flags. Viva La Mexico. I love Mexico, by the way, everybody. All right, hopefully you can still see me in frame. So I think this, let's try to pick this up. We'll go this, so we'll start. I'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. I'm gonna Very tasty. And Rico, I should say. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Taco Embassy. That's right, Taco Embassy in St. Catharines, Ontario, taking on the Anaconda Burrito Challenge. So this is an absolutely massive burrito challenge, as you can see. In fact, this is the biggest burrito challenge I've ever attempted and the biggest burrito challenge I have ever heard of and or seen. 
This is literally a six foot long burrito. This thing is absolutely giant. And I'm 5'11", so trust me, I laid beside it and this thing is like as long as I was. So 5'11", six feet, it's a six foot burrito. And this thing was absolutely insane. But I will say, very, very, very tasty, but absolutely, as you can see, just absurdly huge. This is a big burrito. I think that's, ooh, this thing got some width to it as well. Got some girth. Ooh, she's a thick one. So the burrito itself was comprised of eight, like of the extra, extra big tortillas. They're like, I don't know, 14, 16 inch, whatever they are. They're like the absolute biggest tortillas that you can get anywhere. So like huge eight tortillas, then not to mention all the countless meats and everything else that's inside of it. Very soothing. Damn boy, he thick. That's a thick ass boy. Very good tasting though. And the carne asada now. So the burrito was more or less quartered with the four meats as I mentioned. So we had um, carne asada, which is a beef. We then had a El Pastor, which is a pork. We had a chicken, a tinga chicken, chicken tinga, which is chicken, obviously. And then we had carnitas, which is also pork. Um, very, very flavorful meats. The El Pastor was absolutely exceptional. Um, I really enjoyed the fact that they had it on the spit. It really does make a difference. At least around here in Canada, a lot of, or actually I'm gonna say, any restaurant I've ever been to in Canada, um, they do an al pastor, but it's on a grill. It's just not the same. Yes, they still marinate it, but without that kind of spark, that char you get from kind of that spit, it's just not quite the same. So I will say it's definitely, definitely something to try in that regard. I'm getting into some of that al pastor. Love the flavor. Onions, pineapple. Like I said, I'm doing it on that spit, those wonders. So Taco Embassy itself is a very authentic Mexican restaurant. The family is from Mexico um, and they really know their stuff. But that being said, of course, they actually more so tailor to their audience. So they have a large variety of different burritos. Um, and that's kind of the funny thing, I guess. Like often, I guess a lot of people come there um, thinking like Tex-Mex, more like a Tex-Mex or, you know, that kind of style of Mexican is more authentic. But trust me, if you don't like the more authentic stuff, I mean, they got like lingua, they got, they'll make you tacos, like street tacos, just as you would you get in Mexico. So they will give you the full experience, the authentic experience, if you want it. But again, of course, they very much have a more, uh, let's say, North American and or Canadian friendly uh, Mexican style menu and or cuisine as well. Um, which burritos technically are not an authentic Mexican item, but this was done as about as good as you can get. Really liking that El Pastor. Woo. Woo. About four minutes in. We are about a quarter. Each meat was a quarter, so as we basically did the carne asada. And now I'm about three quarters in with the El Pastor. Another thing which was so phenomenal about this burrito is that even though it was so big, it didn't lose its quality. Um, we had great portions of refried beans, you know, the lettuce, tomato, the vegetables, everything in there. The sauces just made it absolutely fantastic. Add a little bit of extra uh, salsa verde as well, just to kind of add a little bit more moisture if I needed it. But when it came to flavor, definitely nothing was sacrificed and that really did make a difference and it was very, very, very delicious. It's only getting harder as I fill up. This is an important note to highlight because even though it's going down quick, it doesn't mean it's not difficult. You understand burritos are soft and moist and they're kind of already pre-chewed in a way so you can generally eat them very very quickly. That being said, this one had extreme difficulty and I was already filling up because this thing was absolutely monstrous and you only have so much stomach capacity and only gets harder and harder as you eat more and more. Some guacamole in there. We did have a total of 60 minutes to do this challenge, but that being said, as time went on minute by minute, things just got increasingly more difficult, things were harder to eat, and like I said, when you fill up, it's uh, you only have so much room ultimately in your stomach. Ooh. Ugh. Burritos go down quickly, but they still fill you up. 
The last time I was at Taco Embassy, I also ate a lot of food, so I'll put that in a comment uh, a pin down below so you can check that out after. And also comment down below right now if you actually think I can complete this thing. I mean, it's a big burrito. In fact, it's as big as I am, that's for sure. This is some salsa berry that I have right here. Love the flavor. I think the anaconda or the serpente was a very, very uh, suitable name. Um, and in fact, it was kind of funny. Uh, I used to really like reptiles when I was a kid, so I found this whole challenge and the sponsor very, very suiting. Uh, in fact, I used to volunteer at a pet store when I was like six years old, and I used to hold snakes and tarantulas. However, that being said, one day they said legally they can't let me do it anymore. Let's just say I was pretty disappointed. But in retrospect, I don't blame them. I mean, I was six years old, and that's probably a lawsuit waiting to happen. I'm going to change the foil. Ooh. That was a lovely bite. Mm. That took a lot. So if you made it to this point in the video, I want to thank you so much. You absolutely rock, and thank you so much for actually watching the videos and not skipping through them. So let's play one of our famous jokes on the Skeppers. These are always so funny. We have such great reactions. So comment down below right now. I can't believe she bit him. And let's just say maybe I did get bitten, but maybe it wasn't by any she and it was actually by the anaconda burrito. But so comment down below, I can't believe she bit him. And that way anybody who is skipping through the video will have to come back and look for a point of where she bit him, whoever he is. Gotta rip this piece. Whew. I don't know if that was a better deer or a bad deer. Crazy, this is like a whole breed of itself. And as you can kind of see by that piece I picked up, like just how big this actually is, like that piece, which was an eighth at most, if not less than an eighth, literally was like the bigger than the biggest burrito you could ever get at Chipotle or anything else. Like bigger, thicker, longer. These things were absolutely massive. So I hope that gives you a better perspective of the actual size of this thing. It truly was a giant anaconda. So that everybody, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. I may hop back here in a moment, but in the meantime, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Definitely a big one. Wish me luck and also dual cameras. Let me know what you think about that. Give the video a like and let's get to the rest of the video. Making our way. Making our way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Collins the chef. Alright. Now, last bit. Let's get her done. This is the red the red salsa. Salsa roja. There we go. Very flavorful. Wow. Now I'm in the carnitas. Pork. Show how far in we are, but my phone turned off and I don't want to uh, I don't want to touch that again if I'm honest. There we go. 11 and a half minutes, 12 minutes in. <sighs> Whew.
I'm getting a little messy, that's for sure. Whew. A lot of food. Again, it goes down quick, but don't take that as easy. It's a lot of food. Do you sauce me a little bit? Mm. Ah. Alright, last like burrito left. I have like eight. Alright, cheers. My dilemma, I have more water for myself to pour, but oh, I'm so messy. Ah, whatever. Don't have to wash the containers. But you feel yourself with my messy hands. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry, guys. Love you here. Sorry to make a mess. Excuse me. Ooh, that's better. About 15 minutes in. <laughs> You're done. I'll blow. <laughs> How's it looking? Cool? Yeah. It's pretty damn big. <laughs> Just finishing up. Set some scrap. A gentleman came in and grabbed his hat. It was pretty funny. <sighs> All right. No doubt. All right. That's all the solids. So there you go. Officially finished. Mm. I'll put all the trays back in frame for y'all. There you go. All right. So um, 
I'm not touching my phone. <laughs> that would have the time. But I'm gonna, you know, the time will be obviously be on the screen. I'm gonna guess somewhere around 17 quarters, 17 and a half minutes. <clears throat> Maybe 17, just going by the uh, time of my camera. <clears throat> so, very delicious. Very, very delicious burrito. I liked that I got a, both a wet burrito and I got a dry burrito. Um, definitely the anaconda was an absolute big one. That is absolutely freaking, absolutely for sure. You know. But that's about it. I mean, like, I definitely have to clean up. I gotta wash my hands. But all I can say, huge thanks to everybody here at Taco Embassy. I love the food. I've been here a number of times just like eating um, literally basically everything on the menu. And this is absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed this burrito. This, did I have a burrito before? I think I had a burrito once before, uh, but it wasn't a wet burrito. So this way, great way to have the salsa roja, the red salsa, nice kind of chili flavor. Not like, not like chili is in like a lot, a lot of heat. Just a really nice deep red chili flavor. Salsa verde, you know, those uh, kind of green tomatoes. Very, very good, very delicious. I have no complaints, but that was a huge burrito. To say I'm a little full would be uh, very, well, be live. I'm, I'm definitely a lot of full, but I will say, every time I come here, every time, I have always gotten churros. So maybe I'll have to get some churros. And the reason why I always get churros here is because they're freaking damn good, guys. Hot, fresh, fried dough. Lovely. And they put like, they give this lovely caramel sauce. Um, geez, I went through this the other day. I'm trying to remember what caramel is in Spanish. Uh, carjeta. This carjeta, which is warm, so like caliente carjeta, which gets me a little caliente. No, I'm just kidding. It's really, really good though. I absolutely love the churros. Um, so I think I might might have to get maybe a couple of those. But like I said, great challenge, great food, no complaints. So with that, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video up till here. Again, if I grab some churros, I'm gonna include that as well. Um, huge again thank you to uh, RV Reptiles for sponsoring this video. And I'll be back with some. Da -la 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 -la, drop and roll, please. Churros! Alright, I got an order of churros and a flan, which is really cool. Flan's a, quite a Mexican thing. Um, so it's super cool that they make their own flan here. My churros, got myself my carjeta, my caramel. Love this stuff. Absolutely delicious. So again, fresh, warm fried dough, caramel sauce. Mm. 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 You know, the funny thing is I knew what to expect and I was still literally shocked with how good that Freaking was. That's hilarious. Too good. I haven't actually tried the flan though. I've had the flan here before. You know, I'm really glad I broke out the Happy Healthy Hunger shirt. It's been a little while since I broke it out. Gives it some good eating powers. It fits me a little form fitting right now. But, I have no complaints. I have churros and flan. All right, let's try this flan. Got some whipped cream on it as well. It's looking really nice. Hmm. Very nicely done. Great texture on it. it has a great level of sweetness.
texture, which is giving you a very, the texture of this flan, I actually really like. So some flans I've had, which I feel weren't done super properly, were like almost liquid. This one is very soft and moist, but it has a, still like a nice bit of texture when you bite into it. Flan, I dig. I'm back to some of these churros. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys have warm fried dough. Just too good. It does things to me. It's just beautiful. That's why I share these images with you, because I think it looks beautiful. Muy bien. Enrico. Muy favorito. Last time I was here, I ate a lot of food. And man, did they ever give me a huge plate of churros. That was insane. We're also about the only restaurant that I know in Ontario to stock my favorite hot sauce, El Yucateco, the extra picante. Chili habanero sauce. Well, definitely either my favorite hot sauce or one of my favorite, well, that and Louisiana style hot sauce are my favorite hot sauces. Really love the flavor on that one. It's a great heat. It's coming from the Yucatan province and Mexico, which I got to spend some time in, in Merida. Also Valladolid. Delicious stuff. Well, with that everybody, I have more than my fill. That was a lot of food. I tell you, I don't think I even would have went with for dessert. They didn't mention earlier, they were like, oh, I mentioned churros. And I was like, dang it. I do get churros every time I come here, so I gotta keep the tradition. Well, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna show you around this restaurant a little bit. It is actually a very, very beautiful place. Like I said, my favorite Mexican restaurant. And uh, that's about it. Like I said, had a great, oh, excuse me, burp. Oh, had a great time here, always do. Staff are excellent, they really take care of me. Um, I like the food, I love the place. And that's it. So big burritos, hope you enjoyed today's challenge. Hope you enjoyed having dessert with me. I really appreciate you guys. So of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. And till next time, Happy eating! No, seriously though, guys, I love you, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. If you like this video, let me know. Comment down below, hit the like. I always appreciate that. And, uh, you know, consider subscribing as well. It's free, helps you out, you don't miss a beat. Helps me out, and that's about it. So I love you guys, Till next time. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have the uh, Frida Carla room, a famous Mexican painter, artiste. Uh, this is another uh, Mexican artiste. I don't recall his name, but love the colors. This room is just so bright, so beautiful. That's where we were today. Then we have the Lucha Libre room, which is like the, uh, the wrestlers. So we even have a Jack Black. Shout out to whoever did all this art, by the way. It's very, very beautiful. We got uh, all kinds of luchadors and wrestlers, Taco Embassy. This is my favorite nook, so right in here. This is like a really, I call a romantic nook. Um, this is where you find Joel when he comes here, not going to lie. So if you come, come sit in the romantic nook. Courtesy of Joel, unless I'm here, then you better not be in it. Um, <laughs> kidding, slash not kidding, that's my place.
Uh, here we have then the Aztec room, which is highlighting some of the um, kind of Aztec Mayan cultures. Then we have the Mariachi room, which is very beautiful, and all kinds of Mariachi players all around. Again, the beautiful colors. So like I said, absolutely fantastic. Love it here, great staff, great hospitality. And that's it. I love this place, I'll be back. I'm gonna be back in that nook sooner than later, I'd say. And uh, guess what they have next time? All you can eat tacos, that's right. So all you can eat tacos is coming up. I might have to stop on by. Let's have some fun. Until next time. I already said goodbye, so just, just goodbye. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.